What's up, ladies and gents? It's your boy, Lou Streets, and I'm back with another segment of LS Vision. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. So because I knew I had some real-life obligations and we knew that Sindel was dropping today as far as the trailer goes, I pretty much had my phone on mute, been avoiding my DMs, avoiding my social media. People been hitting me up, yo, Lou, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it because, of course, I always want to watch it as a family together for the first time, as always. So now that I'm finally home and settled in, done with real-life obligations, let's see what the Scream Queen got in store for us. Let's get it. It better be dope. That been great. Okay. Pretty much like the like the screenshots we've seen, with the exception of all the purple glowing shit. Look how long that hair is. My sacrifice saved the Magoka. Nothing will save them now. How you gonna be mad at Nightwolf for not letting you destroy Earth Realm? Come on, Sindel. What we got? Oh, weaponry. That looks familiar. Starfire, anybody? I didn't know she was gonna have a weapon. Look at this fucking staff she got. The KB on the back throw. That was kind of obvious. That was another Starfire move. It just looks a little bit different. It's not the long beam, but short beams. Her jump in too is crazy with the hair. I know that's what that was. Black Canary. Oh, so we playing Injustice Combat 11. I got it. Starfire again. <laughs> These are all Starfire and Black Canary moves. I'm not mad at though. She still looks sweet. It fits her personality, so it makes sense. Is that a special move or a KB? Yeah, she can hover. Fam, these are Starfire's moves. I love it though. I like Starfire. Oh, uh, she teleports off of the kind of like noob sidebot when he throws the sickle cell. Is it called the sickle cell? Whatever the fuck that shit's called. Sickle blade. Whatever the fuck I just said. The ass smash. Like daughter, like mother. Let's see what the fatal blow looking like. Yo, they really, really incorporated the shit out of this hair. Look at the hair, though. Look at the weave getting busy with the weave. <laughs> And she still got the eye stun with the heels, just like Katana. So I, I love how they kind of tribute and mix that in. What we doing with the fatality? More hair. Oh, oh, damn. Just skin my dog alive with the strength. Jesus, Sindel. And then got the skull aesthetic on front of the face. And hey, she dope. She dope. And I've been playing Cabal lately, so I, I like the range of the weapon. I didn't expect that. That reminds me of, a, of some horror movie shit. That shit looks awesome, dog. That shit looks fucking awesome. That shit looks awesome. 26. Ain't too far away. Two Tuesdays away. Cassie. Let's bring it back. Let's, let's get the second go run. See if we missed anything. She looks sweet though. I'm, I'm loving how she just the hovering and shit. I mean, it's very Starfire-like, but she didn't have that since the OG Mortal Kombat, so I'm not mad at that shit at all. That shit is fire. Let's see what I can catch on the move tip this time around. I love how she just looks like... Yeah, that shit got range. And I've been playing Cabal, so I'm rolling with that. I wonder if that considered a command grab or not. That just looks like a typical back throw KB off punish. That's all that looks like. Short hop attack. Another Starfire move, air projectile to jump in too. I'm, I'm thinking that's a down one at low one. It's like her down one would be similar to her jump in too. Strings look sweet too. Then you got the black canary screen. That's hard right there. That's really hard. That's like you do big damage. Probably got, probably got a KB in there somewhere. Yeah, that, that just got that just like a typical grab just with a KB on it. Yeah. She's hard. The teleport off of that. I'm just wondering, like, the only thing that sucks you never know how many variations they showing you. Probably showing you two to three variations. That's dope. That's, that might be like the that might be top top five projectile on the game getting that low. That's similar to Kano's uh beam blast if it got KB on it. Fatal blow is sweet. Got the ass smash crushing blow like katana, just exactly like katana. Like daughter, like mother. Heel stump to the eyeballs, just like katana. Yeah, I like it. And you know we ain't seeing nowhere near her potential. You know we're gonna get some gameplay before she drops. This, this is sweet. This is sweet. This is this is really really dope, and I'm loving like when she screams. You said I got the skull on front, like it's coming out of her. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It's a scary movie. It's a scary movie. This shit reminds me of. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. I don't want to say the Blair Witch. I think it's the Curse of La Rona. Like how I wrote the R, the La Rona. 
Yeah, I'm not mad at this. This is hard. This is hard. They, like I keep saying, they're getting better and better and better and better. They just add more and more personality, so they're getting better and better and better. And this didn't, it didn't disappoint at all. It didn't disappoint at all. I'm not mad at it. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about it. I feel like every time that I watch another trailer for a new DLC character, I always say they're just getting better and better and better. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm being phony because of the fact that I keep seeming to say this over and over and over. But the truth is, for me, they just keep giving characters personality. A lot of hair usage in that shit. I know, and I know, like, some people will want to be negative and be like, um, <clears throat> oh, we've seen those animations before. I even made jokes about them. But the truth is, it's an NRS game. If you got a model to go off of, which I'm not mad at, obviously we saw some of Starfire and some of Black Canary moves. But I'm cool with it. Like, it's, 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 it's a similar character in a similar company, so therefore I expect there to be some similarities. And it's not really biting because that shit still fits totally in Sindel's character as far as the moves that we've seen with the um like the beam from up high, like the shoes down low, the scream from up high, <clears throat> the scream going across, the low scream, and uh and some of the projectiles. So I mean like I'm not upset with none of that. For me, it's more about the fact that they just keep giving characters more and more personality and identity. That makes me want to play them. I really wasn't that interested in Sindel, so I didn't know what to expect, but based on watching that, I'm actually going to play her. I've been playing Cabal lately, so that whole having that staff and having that reach, that goes right up with my current gameplay style anyway, because I moved away from Liu Kang and been playing Cabal pretty much all of season five so far. So that's pretty fucking awesome. Secondly, it seems like she has excellent range on some of her attacks. Some of that hovering stuff is cool that we saw in the video. And obviously, it's going to be much, much more to be revealed. But it's just like, I don't see how anybody could watch this and be upset about it. I personally like the trailer a lot. I love her personality. I love her identity. Obviously, the skin is going to be even doper. And then one thing that I'm really, really big on is like, you remember when Sindel first dropped, she had like the big Elvira like hairdo. I love that they gave her more of like a revenant, demonish, vampirish looking aesthetic and gave her like that, um, I don't know what, what the scary movie is I'm thinking of, but it's like, it reminds me of the Curse of La Rona when she screams and you see that skull come over her face. That reminds me of the scary movie, The Curse of La Rona, or either like The Nun. It's one of those horror movies, but it looks just like that. But I love the fact that like, she looks more like, like a, like a vampire princess or something like that. She doesn't have like the big, uh, what you girls call that? She didn't have like the big poof with the stupid stripe in the middle, looking like she had the skunk hairdo. She looks super, super fucking dope. So I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm excited that she's coming out pretty soon. And as I said, these trailers just keep getting better and better and better. I remember when they first dropped the release dates, I was feeling like, shit, this stuff is super far away. I was excited about Spawn. If like he was down the road, but if you look, we got what? Shang Tsung, Terminator, Night Wolf, and now we at Sindel. So who do we have left? Spawn and... Am I missing somebody? I can't remember who the other character is I'm missing off the top of my head. I'm sure I'm going to know as soon as I wrap up this commentary. But I mean, honestly, it looks great. I mean, the move, the move set looked great. It, it is certain things I want to review, but they only show so much. And we don't know how many variations that they're going to like come out with and, and as far as how they're going to combine things. But I mean, what's there to be upset about? A, a nice amount of KBs, a nice amount of range with her spear weaponry. Uh, screams from different angles, although we don't know how many variations can go into what, so we don't know how many screams are available pair variations versus like what's in her default package. But I mean, dog, she looked dope. Like she, she looked dope. I really don't have no disappointments about it. I'm just, I'm hyped for it. Like November the 26th, early access. You know, I already got my combat pack access, so I'm ready to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not a lot to be said. I want to know what you guys enjoyed about the video. Um, was it her was it her staff weaponry was it her screams was it the usage of her hair was it the range of her jump in to the range of her down one is what it looks like that I seen with some of the hair so I'm gonna make sure that I put some of the moves over the commentary as we review that but I mean I'm very curious to see what you guys enjoyed the most personally me of everything that I like I kind of knew what to expect with the scream and with the hair I like the staff of, of everything that I seen the staff spear whatever you want to call that weapon that made me enjoy her the most because it fits into my current play style. So when she drops, I can just pick up right where I left off with Cabal. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. It is your boy, Lou Streets. I'm out. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for me. Of course, hit subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. So stick around for more Mortal Kombat 11 content. Until then, peace out.